Hello everyone, it's Christmas Day, 25th of December 2019 and the time right now is 17.26, that's 5.26 p.m. and um, I thought I'd do a quick uh, YouTube video <sighs> journaling my first Christmas as a trucker and not only that but also my first Christmas on the road. Today I had about six hours and 30 minutes to drive all the time that I had left out of my 70 hour clock you get 70 hours per week from the Department of Transport I think that's what the department DOT and you're not supposed to exceed it otherwise you're breaking the law Wow the lighting is crazy my angles are kind of off so um, I left I had six and a half hours yesterday I had um, more or less the same amount of time and the distance that I had to drive both yesterday and today was just about enough to be covered in that time therefore there was no time for breaks you know I'm gonna take a 30 minute break no ma'am Pim otherwise you're gonna exceed you or whatever so yesterday I drove from Idaho to to Ontario in Oregon there's a pilot there that I almost that I without fail always stop at when uh, I'm doing this route on the 84 uh, the reason for that is it's walking distance from a Dollar Tree but most of all it's walking distance from Walmart I'm distracted because I'm wondering if I should turn off the engine but I have to have the engine running in order for me to lately because it's winter for or whatever when I'm doing the microwave or whatever otherwise it's gonna beep 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 long story now um, so that's what I did yesterday I drove and I had I think two minutes left when I'm done with everything and I was able to take uh, maybe 10 20 minute two 10 minute breaks this was yesterday I was able to do that because I luckily there was nobody on the road and not only that the road was nice enough that I drove 65 miles majority of the of the trip today however it was a lot of mountain driving there were areas that had low vision what is it there were areas that were very foggy and it's mountain and it and then it rained sometimes so I wasn't able to drive 65 miles for the most for most of my trip it had to you know it was lower than that if it were 65 miles I would have made it just within that time so I may have had to make some adjustments here and there and um, I got here just fine because of the adjustments that I had to make <laughs> anywho um, Christmas Day Yesterday, I know I keep talking to Christmas. Today is Christmas Day, but I keep talking about yesterday. Yesterday, I went to Walmart. I went for a walk. It's a one-mile walk, and I bought a bunch of things. A lot of them are in cans and bottles, so it's a lot of fluids. Therefore, heavy stuff that I carried walking a mile. I always catch myself in situations where I'm like, mm, I probably shouldn't have not bought so many heavy things. This is the story of my life. I always think to myself, ah, oh, this stuff is too heavy. Oh well. So I used to think to myself, okay, next time be careful. Now I don't even think that anymore. I just think to myself, okay, just keep going, keep going. Okay, good, you did it. Yay, next time I know I'm gonna make the same mistake again. So I bought um, some French bread, favorite. I always tell myself, just buy the white one because that's the one that you like. But when I get there and I see the brown one or the wheat one, it's hard to say no. So I end up buying both, sometimes even more, like other ones are like Italian and whatever kind of bread. It's only $1 per loaf, but that's not even the point. I just love it. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna eat a little bit last night and then somehow dispose of the rest. But um, I did this both somehow somewhat of the rest but I had some first thing in the morning I woke up I was like oh my god there's bread in the house so much 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 I say all this to say that 
my plan yesterday i cooked uh pork butt shoulder butt i don't know but pork butt and i used to eat this when i lived at my place in pasadena and so i got to go to aldi when i was in the carolinas and i was like oh my god all time sakes so i bought the groceries that i used i used to buy when i was leading a normal life and uh so i thought okay i'm gonna do myself a favor i'm gonna make the pork butt pork butt i'm gonna try and make it like i used to nothing's really changed in my lifestyle with regards to food so i thought that's what i'm gonna eat today for christmas dinner and then i stuffed myself with bread throughout the night <laughs> So when I woke up this morning, I thought to myself, like, if I'm not going to be, if I'm going to be not good, it's going to, I try to make it for one meal or at least no more than that day. You know what I mean? So I was good all day. I didn't plan on this bread thing. The plan was to be good until the end of the year. And that's only a week away. So I bought the bread, I caved, I guess, and I ate it. And then I woke up in the morning, I still had a bunch left, so I, I, I stuffed myself some more. I had, a, um, I had some sugar-free candies as well, so I ate some of that as well. And um, lots of farting, if you ask me. Then this morning, this was this morning. And then, oh, why am I distracted? Because I want to finish, I didn't want this to be a long video. So uh, after all of that, I got rid of the rest of the stuff that was here because I was not gonna have a bed Christmas day no I was not gonna have a bed two days either so I looked at my calories and I realized I had about 700 calories today already before my day even started before I got out of bed from all the junk that I was stuffing on while I was in bed I'm not in the business of regretting things that I've done so I try to plan beforehand so that there's no regrets so I was like, okay, what's the way forward? Uh, luckily, I didn't have a lot of time to take breaks in between where I'm going to be like, oh, what am I going to do with all this idle time, right? So I drank the usual, a liter in the morning with apple cider vinegar. But I, because I was only driving for less than seven hours, I could, I could start later than I normally do. So I stuck around watch some crime documentaries I had free Wi-Fi from from uh, pilot and I also you know did some YouTube uploading blah 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 then I had a, another jug of another liter of um, fluids of tea so I drank two liters in the morning before I even left the second one was because I knew I was not I didn't want to drink while I'm driving don't drink and drive right I don't want to drink while I'm driving so that I have to keep pulling over especially when you drink something warm so I drank that while I was still around and then I went and I freshened up and blah 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 and then I got on the road not a lot of uh, road users on the road not a lot of cars trucks you name it there were a lot of trucks at the truck stop when I left which was interesting I, think, I guess you know because Christmas Day maybe people are gonna deliver tomorrow or stuff like that or pick up tomorrow or whatever so my drive was really nice I drive along the 84 I'm going west because I was coming I was going west from Idaho deep into Oregon closer to Washington where I am now and um, so there's that river that you drive along it's, it's a beautiful view but the river is I think more than 50 miles long so it's like fudge it's a lot of winding list mistake you could end up you know floating or sinking shit I don't know so there was that I took one break which was about 10 minutes I went into a flying J in the middle of I just saw a flying J randomly it was like perfect there aren't a lot they did have a lot of rest areas and then there was nothing I don't know so I went to a Flying J and I wanted to also make uh, maybe like a like tea while I was there but um, they didn't have hot water they didn't have anything that made me specifically go to Flying J they didn't have free wife oh I didn't need free wife because I didn't have cell phone signal all the way 
So I thought, okay, if I go to Flying Gym, when I get free Wi-Fi, I'm gonna be able to quickly, you know, check my messages and whatnot. Uh, just as I turned into the Flying J street or off ramp, I got signal on my cell phone. So I didn't really need that. And then they didn't have the, the T thing. So that was annoying. Came back into my truck and I tried to heat up some water in the microwave four or five minutes. The water was still ice cold, which is so strange. And now I think I may have found a setting. This is not a Christmas present. I think I may have found a setting that makes my stuff hot because I put the same stuff that, that I was trying to drink earlier, seven hours, eight, four hours ago. I put that in the microwave and I saw a button that says power. I saw this power button, so I pushed it and then I pushed um, whatever, the time and lo and be freaking hold within a minute the thing started getting warm which is opposite of what was happening earlier and i'm like is this what the pro this microwave doesn't get too hot actually so yeah i don't i don't really know what was going on but um that seemed to help so maybe that's my christmas gift from the universe what else i'm at one of our terminals now and uh i just found out that my delivery it's not tomorrow morning because usually they give me loads that are late so as soon as I can get there then I'm ready to go blah 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 so I arrived here I was out of time like zero minutes I'll show you now literally zero minutes left the terminal is packed because you know people are it's a holiday so there's no spots at all I dropped my trailer I had to be creative and then I was like wait I'm picking up a trailer here so instead of parking creatively so to speak let me find my trailer found my trailer and i hooked as i was hooking to my trailer that i'm delivering tomorrow i just walked around it and i realized that the reefer has um the reefer is a trailer with a refrigerated refrigerated trailer i realized that the trailer has almost empty fuel so i sent them a courtesy message first of all the person that dropped the trailer here should have made sure that um, it's gonna have enough fuel and the people that were sending him here should have made sure that you know blah 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 would have could have should have maybe they did make sure that this person fuels and the person didn't fuel so I wasn't there I don't know but I think the onus is upon the person that dropped off the trailer here to make sure that it's gonna be covered for at least a certain amount of time the one that I dropped off is at 55 degrees and it's not continuously it's on and off so that fuel is gonna is gonna stay there for a while this one is almost at empty and it's at minus 10 degrees so that's a lot of fuel usage and it's continuous you know someone else would have said put it not don't put it in continuous if you're leaving it here for a while and I just realized that my appointment is not tomorrow morning it's tomorrow at 7 p.m. right now I told you what it's, it's the evening so it's in more than 24 hours my appointment so I sent them a courtesy message because you know I don't want to I could have just acted like I didn't see it no my problem right my appointments tomorrow I could have just acted like blah 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 but it's not my personality so I sent them a courtesy message this is not the first time I'm sending them I sent them a courtesy message saying your thing is almost empty blah 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 blah, blah. and they said uh, do you have enough fuel until blah 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 I'm thinking why do you think I'm sending you this message so I said I don't know because I'm not gonna make the one that's making that call saying yes I do or no I don't so I said I don't know let them use their brains for once okay give me a Christmas box use your brains. so they send me a message saying can you send me the, the, the can you scan the paperwork to me now they want to double check what is it that you want to double check what do you want to double check in the paperwork I'm telling you real time real life the thing is empty so send somebody here to bring five gallons of fuel put the fuel in there or somebody to come and take this and this terminal a lot of our terminals have uh, fueling um, aisles this one doesn't but there's a there's um, truck stops in less than five miles from here so it's not gonna be me that's gonna go there I'm not putting myself in personal conveyance to do them a favor no ma'am Pam. I've already done you a favor by letting you know so then I keep looking this way because I want to see if they've, they've messaged me back when they said can you send the paperwork I said I don't have the paperwork yet because sometimes you can leave the paperwork in the document box in the trailer but the previous person didn't 
which is fine it's probably in the office in dispatch so I would have to walk across the street and go to the office and get the paperwork I'll do that tomorrow or later on or whatever I'm hungry but when they said to me send me the paperwork I thought to myself I'm not it's cold it's like 20 26 degrees Fahrenheit that's minus something Celsius what I'm not gonna do is to run across the street to do them this favor and go talk to the guy and get the paperwork and take photos and scan it to them because what why why do they need the paperwork to prove what bottom line is you need fuel in the tr in the thing that's the bottom line paperwork or not doesn't matter what the paperwork says so so um so yeah that's that uh they didn't they haven't responded in more than 15 minutes uh i told them i'm done for the day i don't have the paperwork yet basically i'm not gonna go and, and do you another favor and then i said i was just sending you a courtesy message about the fuel you know so you're welcome no good deed goes unpunished um enough about that i'm gonna eat i'm gonna heat up The pork butt and it have that for dinner that's my Christmas dinner and I have not eaten all day so that's affording me some calories to eat and not feel bad I'm still gonna be good with my calories after I eat dinner tonight and here's what I'm eating and thanks for watching I hope you had a nice Christmas this looks like what we would eat in the cultural functions back home the African stuff so I'm gonna take a bunch here. I got my scale already. Put a paper plate, weigh some, put it in there, sit down and enjoy. Goodbye.